Hey, good afternoon, everyone. So I just thought I'd jump on um, just very quickly, just to talk about something that's uh, um, it's quite important about what we do. Um, but again, it's just a little bit of information, really, about you know why we do it and the reasons behind it. Um, so I'm a little bit hoarse today, so I've been teaching a fair amount just recently, so uh, my voice is starting to go. So uh, I feel all right in myself, but the voice, like I say, is going a little bit. So... Um, so the subject today is bowing and the reason why we bow, um, you know, there's a, there's a few things. So, you know, first one is literally when you come up to the dojo, um, you know, regardless of how your day's been, you know, whatever you've done, whether you've, you know, you had a, you know, a bit of a, a rough day at work or you've had a rough day at school or something's not gone quite right, um, you know, and you're trying to juggle everything around, you know, you're trying to juggle, you know, the school run, you're trying to juggle your job, you're trying to juggle, do, you know, doing the weekly shopping, or you're trying to juggle, you know, getting backwards and forwards to work or school or whatever it is. Um, you know, what I want you to try and remember is to forget about all the crap that goes on throughout the week. So, when you turn up to the dojo, I want you to be completely fresh. I want you to ignore all the stuff that goes on. No matter how hard it is, you really need to try and forget about, you know, the, the, the crap that basically goes on. So the reason why I say that is because I can see from the, you know, the front of the hall, um, I can see how bubbly some people are, I can see how excited some people are, I can see how energetic some people are, but there's nothing worse than seeing somebody with a face like a slap backside. <laughs> so, and again, I get it, I totally appreciate that, you know, life is tough and, you know, things can, can really escalate rather quickly. Uh, however, that also brings the energy down of the uh, of the whole session. So, if I can see that someone's not too happy because they've had a bad, you know, traffic experience on the way to class, or one of the kids is, I don't know, they've, I don't know, they've said something, or they've upset one of your brothers or your sisters, or or whatever it is, <clears throat> I can see that from the front of the class. So. What I'm saying is, when we bow, forget everything. You're a brand new beginner, forget everything. So regardless of what grade you are, when you come to the door, bow as if you're a new beginner, okay? So it might be the fact that you're, you're gonna come in and you're still gonna do the stuff that you would normally do. You'll still do the normal strikes and the blocks and everything else. Um, but I want you to bow at that door and forget about everything. So it might be the fact that you've had a massive traffic, you've been sat in a traffic jam, or you've had a, an argument with someone. You turn up to the dojo, you walk through the door, and you're still festering on that. It's still going over in your mind. You're still getting upset about it. You're still fed up about it. When you're in, when you're in the, uh, in, when you're in the dojo, you can be you. You be you. All right. So. The reasons for bowing is, one, to leave everything at the door. Leave all the crap at the door. Whatever it is, completely leave it at the door. However hard it is, try and leave it at the door. When you bow, you're almost like signing a contract, in a way, of, I'm going to, be, I'm going to enter the dojo. I'm going to try my absolute best. I'm going to focus as best as I can. If I work with a partner, I'm also going to help them develop their skills today. Um, you know, it's literally that first bow means so much. It means I've left all the crap at the door. I'm going to try my absolute best, however big or small the, you know, the lessons are. And what I mean by that is even if you only pick one little thing up, just a slight little tweak of a technique, a slight little tweak of a kata, a slight little tweak of a footwork drill, a slight little tweak of a, you know, kata application. However big or small that lesson may be, I want you to bow and think, perfect, that's what I'm here for. That's what I'm, I'm here to learn today. Likewise, if you're doing, 
you know, contact drills or you're doing partner drills, when you bow to that partner, you're it's almost like you're you're entering into a a contract of I'm gonna help you develop your technique today. Likewise, you're also gonna help me develop my technique today. Um we're both gonna be, we're both on that same journey. Whatever grade that is, it doesn't make any difference. We're both on that journey of self-development, self um awareness of trying to make our <clears throat> wow trying to make our technique better um so like i say when you're bowing it means so much don't just think it's just a you know a quick head nod just for the sake of it it means that you're leaving all the crap that's gone on throughout the week it somewhere where you can come and be you you know you're bowing um and you're literally you know it's somewhere where you can train and you're training in the same area or same vicinity as someone else, just trying to be better, you know, better themselves, be better at their technique, be better at kata, be better at sparring, be better at their flow drills, whatever it is. So that bow does mean so, so, so much. And like I say, I've just got a list here of, you know, you know certain things. Like I say, you know, leaving stuff at the door, you know, the bow means I enjoyed it, you know. I enjoyed working with you. I learned so much, no matter how big or small that lesson was. Um, so I just thought I'd share that with you today because again, it's one of those, it's almost like those one of one of those lost lessons that you don't think too much about. You know, like I say, that that small bow actually means so much. So, um, so I thought I'd, I thought I'd drop that in there today because I know we, you know some of us have been having it a little bit tough just recently. Um, try and leave it at the door, okay? Try and leave it at the door because sometimes it is very apparent from the front of the class um, who's had a bad day or not. Um, and I want to try and sort of you know get rid of that sort of negative energy um, sometimes. You know, I want the dojo to be a place where you can be positive. You know, you be you. You know, working on your self-development, you know, a lot of people turn around and say about personal development, you know, and blah, blah, blah. It's it's a big cult. But again, it is a very big thing about personal development to try and keep yourself positive all the time. Um, and it's very hard at the moment with all the crap that goes on throughout, you know, throughout the, you know, the week. Energy crisis, Putin this, that, and the other, blah, blah, blah. I don't like getting all involved in that because I'm just like, you know what? As soon as you get involved in it, you start getting sucked into all the bull crap. Um, and I don't particularly like it. So, um, but anyway, I just thought I'd uh, jump on and share that with you today. And again, I do apologize, obviously, for the losing of my voice. Some of you will probably be pretty happy about that. So when I come to class later, it might not be necessarily me doing a lot of teaching. Um, because I'm, uh, I'm really quite struggling with my voice um, today. So anyway, uh, catch you guys a little bit later on tonight. Um, I will be pulling, pulling a few people out this evening as well, having a look at certain things uh, for our next um, upcoming grading on the 16th of October. <clears throat> um, anyway, I'm going to go before I completely lose it. All right then, guys. Thanks very much. Cheers. Bye-bye.